Hey guys, so I just finished watching uh, Shield, um, season uh, I, don't, I don't know, season two, um, this season two, season two episode. It'll be up there in the title uh, and stuff like that. It'll all be there. Um, so, well, this one, I just want to say first off the bat, I guess to give this episode definitely, um, well, definitely. Uh, a, Give it an 8.5, an 8.5, um, you know, uh, it, it definitely is, is very good, um, and I totally wanted to just, I called it, you know, go check my last video on, uh, on S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, that, uh, you know, she was, she, you know, she was going to be in Hydra, but not in Hydra, but secretly, you know, I never, I guess, okay, I didn't, I didn't call that she was, um, you know, uh, that she was there on her, on her own terms, you know, I didn't call that part. Called it that she would be. Uh, I'm a base off because we saw the trailer last week, so um, you know I knew that she, the show that she was with Hydra, but you know that um, you know that it was. I thought that she was going to be doing it on her own will, just trying to get information to help fit. Um, but she's she's not doing that. She's doing it to, to because Coulson wants her and stuff like that. And so I found that very good, and I like that. Um, I like that, and I was hoping that we would see you know fit to see her, but uh, obviously not. I guess not. But uh, you know. Maybe now that he knows, you know, that, uh, you know, Fitz is, uh, no, Simmons, that Simmons is, uh, now that Fitz knows that Simmons is, is, you know, is, did not abandon him, did not just, well, abandon the team, leave everyone, um, you know, that she's, you know, out on a mission, you know, um, and he never tells him, you know, when he asks him, you know, did you want to go? And he's, he didn't, and it just cuts, you know, you don't see his, aunt, uh, at least we don't know if he knows that, whether she gets it, so obviously I guess he, I'm assuming that he doesn't know that, you know, whether it was her, whether she said she signed up for it, asked for it, or, you know, he, uh, or if it was Colson's idea or her idea, you know. Um, so I think that's definitely good. And I'm glad that he knows. And that whole scene with Fitz and Ward, that was just, whoa, that was so good. It was, you know, I think it was pretty good. I think it was cool. I was hoping that, you know, there was a part of me that was hoping and a part of me that wasn't hoping that was kind of hoping a little bit that, you know, this thing, him doing this to Ward and, and talking to Ward would, 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 would trigger something and would just like fix, almost just somehow fix everything, you know? Um, I think that would be a cool, uh, that would have been, I was hoping for that in, in a little bit, but on the other hand, if they did do that, I probably would have called them out and been like, you know, that was just too, oh, well, convenient, you know, somehow it just triggered emotionally, but, you know, which I think if anything is going to do that, which wouldn't make sense is if, you know, um, somehow, uh, him, him talking to real Simmons, I think, is the only way for him to just emotionally fix himself, you know what I mean, type thing, all, all of a sudden, just another traumatic event, um, you know, emotionally traumatic event, uh, fix him, I think the only, the only event that could happen is something with Simmons, uh, and not so much with Ward, so uh, I was kind of hoping for that with Ward, but it didn't, when it, but I was, on the other hand, just glad that it didn't happen, because, you know, uh, it wouldn't have made sense, and it would just, like, so few episodes in, uh, you know, obviously they're gonna wait a long a while before he gets actually fixed. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I like that kind of that she's in Hydra and she still has her cupboard. It was a cool setup. You know that how, you know she saw and stuff like that, and they, you know, pers like she made it look like she saved him and stuff like that. That was pretty cool. Um, you know, it was uh, definitely nice. Um, and you know, she saved the, the bad guy and having this guy with the 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 the, the ice power kid in there. That was pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm glad that that's going to be, he was there. Um, I'm hoping that somehow, since they never, they, like, she, Sky is searching and they never found his body unless they say it in the next episode, oh, they found his body, you know, whatnot, but since he's frozen in the water. And what I found weird though is that he's frozen in the water, I thought like the entire, like, I don't know what, if it's a lake or, I guess, I'm not sure if it's the ocean, connected to the ocean or wherever, thing of that lake or body of water, you know, a big span, you know, whole thing just gets, uh, you know, frozen into a solid block of ice. Um, but instead he was just him that kind of sank to the bottom, which kind of makes, makes sense, you know, uh, you know, I thought that the whole thing would, would go, but then again, you know, he only has a limited amount of power and it's not like he's unlimited. Um, so I definitely think it's interesting and I hope that somehow, you know, if they don't talk about him for the rest of the season, that somehow he thaws out in Age of Ultron. Um, you know, I hope that they have him in Age of Ultron, if not in Age of Ultron, hopefully for, you know, Avengers 3 or something like that, or, you know, even the, I don't know if you guys know, but I think it was announced that Robert Downey Jr. and Ellen were talking about uh, Iron Man 4, and that was, um, he kind of confirmed, uh, 
he can confirm that uh, Ro- uh, that is uh, that uh, Iron Man four. So maybe you know they can throw him into Iron Man, Iron Man four if they don't even have a script yet or anything like that. So hopefully they can take uh, this this guy because this guy with ice powers, especially if he's you know I don't know uh, you know if he, if he melts out and they give him like a backstory in uh, in like season three or the end of se- season two or whatnot somehow and build him up to like uh, you know a big power you know, where he's able to just go somewhere and, uh, you know, say that he got out and he went, he hid, and everyone thought he was dead, so he was able to go on somewhere and just hide and just perfect his ice powers to the point where he would be, you know, um, a suitable enemy for, like, Iron Man or Captain America or something like that. So hopefully he will eventually be able to see him in either an Avengers movie or maybe, like, a, a standalone hero movie, you know, like one of the Iron Man or stuff like that, or even... Um, I'm trying to think of the, the guys. Maybe maybe he'll somehow appear in Daredevil. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I guess, he'll, he'll appear in Daredevil. I wouldn't, like, why would you not? You know, he's he's not a big, he's not a big, uh, he's not a movie character that costs a lot of money. Um, you know, he's it's not, not going to be too expensive. He's, you know, not, he's not crazy. He just has ice powers, which they were, they were able to make it affordable for S.H.I.E.L.D. episode, so they can do it for, for that, for, for, um, for Daredevil, um, I'm also interested to see you know how much in this epi- in this season um, will it connect with the, the Daredevil uh, stuff coming out soon. You know, are they going to mention him uh, in here before they mention him in the well, before the show? You know, or are we gonna have to wait until the shows ca- kind of collide? Um, and, you know, hopefully they do kind of like the way Arrow, the way Flash and Arrow kind of did, where one of the episodes in, in, in Arrow was was where you f- he first appeared. You know, um, and then that kind of uh, branches off just definitely just to show to, to show people that because some people don't you know just watch the show every every time you know don't follow everything or don't look at it for everything online so they may not know that there's a Daredevil uh, you know Netflix series coming out you know um, you know so I just definitely think that if they to have him even if they just mentioned him you know uh, some lawyer in uh, you know and just start name dropping a lawyer in uh, in in, in you know, a lawyer somehow, you know, uh, Matt Murdock, you know, and stuff like that, or someone, uh, you know, I don't know, but that was, uh, that's just what I was thinking on to this episode, I definitely liked it, and, you know, like the progress that Fitz is having, and uh, the whole scene with, um, with uh, uh, Simmons and, and, uh, and, uh, that, that was pretty, uh, like, singing off the, 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 the thing there, the, um, the, the, the trailer, you know, I kind of saw that he wasn't going to shoot her and stuff like that, like I said. So that was, it was a pretty good episode. I really liked it. Definitely, uh, uh, you know, definitely interesting how they have the Simmons. I kind of miss, you know, Simmons, Fitz and Simmons, you know, that whole uh, interaction. I think uh, whenever they do bring them back together and bring them back to Fitz Simmons, uh, they kind of, like, it, it'll be feel so, we will have missed it so much. That it'll feel so good, and that once they come back, it'll be so good. Once they do, instead of as if they just continued on, you know, um, it'll feel that much uh, better, you know. Um, and uh, they're going to do, they're, they're going, and I think that's a nice, good idea. It definitely makes it feel that much better instead of the just, you know, her having to go through this with him. This is her way to get away from him and kind of, you know. And so once they do come back, oh yeah. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Tell me in the comments below. Peace out, guys.